Hey everybody. Hello. 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 Welcome aboard. Hello. Hi. Um, right. So in case you, uh, in case you have wandered in here, um, uh, somehow <laughs> without knowing, uh, what's happening. Um, my name is Peter Mulvey. And this is my most and least requested live stream show. So hi, everybody. Um, let me know where you are, you know, in the comments section and, and that you are here. That would be fantastic. Um, right. That's weird. The chat thing. Chat thing doesn't seem to be working, so I cannot see your chat comments. All right, well, so I don't really have a way of knowing. I think I'm gonna just open up Facebook so that I can see if you are there, and then I'm gonna trust that you are there. So Peter Mulvey just went live, yes, you're there. What is happening, where am I? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so I trust that you are here. The chat function appears not to be working on Restream this week. That's fine. A little bit of housekeeping. So uh, the best thing that you could do right now is um, share this. If you're watching on Facebook, uh, share it and say, uh, this is Peter Mulvey's most and least requested live stream. I requested X, wondering if he's going to play it, something like that. Just to let all your friends know that you're watching this uh, scintillating um, <laughs> example of, of uh, deep artistry and uh, pathos or whatever it is. Um, so if you could share it, that'd be great. If you're on Instagram, I see there's a, a bunch of you over on Instagram. Hi. Um, if you want, I think most of the people are over on um, the Peter Mulvey Facebook page, which is, there are two of them. There's my personal page, Peter Vincent Mulvey, and then there's Peter Mulvey. Uh, that's the pro musician page. I think most people are there. You can also find it on YouTube. So if you could uh, I gather wherever you feel like uh, congregating and chatting with human beings. All right, here are the rules. Originally, I was going to put the most requested songs in this old hat, which is made from hemp, and I got this in Arcata, California. And then I was going to put uh, the least requested songs in this hat, which is made of straw and which I got in New Orleans. But my team of policy advisors uh, said that that this hat actually looked better on my head with the it is spring floral shirt. And so now uh, they're in this bowl, which was, by the way, crafted by Tiffany Hilton, uh, who is a potter here in Western Massachusetts. So let's get right down to business. I'm going to uh, I'm going to choose the first tune. Uh, there we go. Charlie. All right, Charlie it is. By the way, um, I just want to thank you all for voting. And uh, especially, I want to thank the people who voted for 29 Cent Head and dedicated to dedicate it to Matt Gates. That was pretty funny. Um, I would like to thank the person who said it, that I should tell a lie of my choosing about Jeffrey Focal. <laughs> accompanied by interpretive dance. I'd like to thank the person who said uh, that I should play any song of mine that contains the entirety of Ozymandias by Percy Shelley. That's funny. So here is Charlie, which David Goodrich and um, Paul Sebar and I wrote for the one and only Charlie Hayden. Wow. And that bass part is by Lou Ulrich, who left us this year. Ah. Tuesday morning broke vacation. 
coffee cup Mr. Charlie, a big sound, it filled you up So if Monday laid you low, so what? When, oh, what's the weather man say? Charlie. I can't do it. I have to get rid of the captions. I have to get rid of the captions. Country boy and Lady Baltimore. All that we boast of here on this foreign shore. Playing Texas hold up. On hotel room floor Draw me one more bucket of home, Charlie Shave jangle sick it of bones, Charlie Charlie, thank you very much. Oh, I'll put the I I I yeah. I can't do I cannot abide the captions. All right, now here's the moment that I fear. This is the least requested. Um so the least requested is wait a minute. Now all of a sudden it's showing that people are attending. What is happening here? Um Ah, there we go. So the least, uh, the least requested songs are here in this bowl. And uh, I don't know some of them, so this is going to be fun. Uh, also, hats off to whoever it was that requested November from a record I put out in 1994. And then also requested November Rain by Guns N' Roses. Especially hats off because they put their name down as Jeffrey Folkalt's dad. So... If that was Jeffrey Folkalt, well played, Jeffrey Folkalt. If that was someone else pretending to be Jeffrey Folkalt, pretending to be his dad, well played. And if it was Jeffrey Folkalt's dad, well played. Uh, uh, yeah. Well done, Ken. Uh, at any rate, uh, I salute you because that caused me to go to um, caused me to go to the video for. Uh, uh, November Rain, which has the model Stephanie Seymour in it in a, quite a wedding outfit. All right, here we go. Here we go. Shoulder birds. Shoulder birds. I love this tune. I wrote this tune with the, uh, the one and only um, Timothy Guerin. And I would love to say that I came up with shoulder birds, but it was really him. The 
got a pretty good trick Just with a flick of their wings That take you long They will get you to sing And all will be right with the world I'm so easily swept away, gone like a cloud down in the valley. So thanks for the flowers you sent, and thanks for the tug on my sleeve. All of the places we went, you got me through, and it's hard to believe. But now it's all humming along, clear as an emerald king. But I have to laugh when I hear those shoulder birds. I'm so easily swept away, gone like a cloud, done in by the day, laughing out loud, and all I can see is you know me. Fred. All right, looks like there are 123 human beings over on the various channels that are going through Restream, and looks like there's about 25 human beings over on the Instagrams. I'm going to put, uh, I'm just going to remind you that Facebook is evil, uh, Instagram is less evil, Facebook is evil, YouTube is evil, and yet I want you all here. So please uh, head over to petermulvey.com and support me if you, if you can. Um, uh, that would be great. Uh, tell people to head there, head there yourself. Join my Patreon or just send me money or whatever. It's been a long goddamn pandemic. And, you know, I've kept my nostril above water because I have you. Thank you. Uh, and I'm deeply grateful. And I'm trying to be involved as I can with all the other things. There's the New England Musicians Relief Fund because there are a bunch of people who are sidemen for the love of God, bass players and drummers. And so, uh, you know, they don't have an audience per se. They have people who love the music they do, but don't know their names. And so that's one organization I've been involved with. And of course, just straight up food banks, because not everyone's as lucky as us. Mm. All right, um, back to the most requested hat. Um, what do we got here? That's, 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 Black Rabbit. All right. Black Rabbit. It is. See, it's the hits. This is what happens. Um, I was fascinated. There were actually some surprises in the most uh, requested songs. Like, uh, for example, 
Uh, well, here, there was a surprise in the least requested. There's a tune called You Don't Have to Tell Me. I got one, two requests. And uh, Lies You Forgot You Told got one. I spent years starting every show with those two tunes. You know, like even after the record was in the past, I was like, yeah, I'm going to start with those tunes. People love those tunes. And I guess people do. But I guess they don't love them as much as I thought they did. It occurred to me that this is like, I mean, what this is, like, let's, let's admit it. I'm po this is polling data. I've co I commissioned you guys to participate in a poll. <laughs> and it's a little like, when you have that sort of frank talk with the sex, sex therapist, you know, you go, <laughs> as a couple, you wait, you don't like that? I, I've been doing that for years. I thought you liked that. All right. was called Black Rabbit. I wrote that a long time ago. And uh, it is among the most requested songs. I think you can all guess what the most requested song is. Um, what have I got now? I guess we go back to the, uh, I guess we go back to the least requested. I want to thank whoever uh, 
whoever requested the song Tender Bald Spot. Well played. Well played, Jeffrey Folkall. Um, all righty. Huh. So there we go. Look at that. Lies you forgot you told. Got exactly one damn request. We thought you liked this song. Well, somebody likes this song. And they're getting this song. That's how that goes. Someone uh, was talking earlier, asking about this guitar I saw on the chat. This guitar is um, probably from about 1898, 1899. Um, it's a, a Washburn, sort of a, your basic factory guitar. And the great Garrett Burton in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, put it together for me, like, revivified it. And then the guitar I'm playing right here, this is a 1939 Martin. Between the two guitars, there's 200 years of being guitars. The one is, uh, what, 120 some years old? This one is 80 something? All right, Lies You Forgot You Told, which is in a crazy old tuning. Um, So over on Patreon this year, I've started a, a songwriting group slash class. Uh, you can join at any level. You you know you, you just can participate. You email info at petermulvey.com and say you want to be in the songwriting class. And um, 
it's sort of taken over. That's where most of my uh, uh, online energy is going. So check it out if you want. Like, for instance, I was there and I was going, uh, you know, and fool and I was like, oh, that's right. I got to do like a little lesson on dynamics there. Fool for believing love. You know, the swells in volume that normally you would get out of a drummer. You would have other people do that crap for you. But here we are, us singer-songwriters, and we don't get to play, especially during the pandemic, with bands that can make our stuff sound better. But we can. See, I go straight into professor mode. Sorry about that. Hey, everybody, take a moment to share the link that you are watching with your friends so more people come in. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Appreciate it. This is how I'm keeping the threads together until I can get back out and play for you. Speaking of which, that's another thing that I'm doing. On my webpage, up at the top, I think, there's a little button that says House Shows. And uh, this summer, that we figure that's the only safe thing to do, you know, because we don't know what the caseloads are going to be like, all of that. And so we're going to just play a bunch of real small shows in people's backyards. And if there's a surge and you, the CDC, you know, closes down your area, fine. We both get to walk away. You know, nobody loses a ton of money. It's all good. They're all local to where I live in New England. But I got to I gotta play for people. And I also would like to get through this career without murdering an audience member. So, all right. Most and least requested songs. We go back to the... Most requested hat. Most requested hat. All right. And just before the war, I'm always surprised. People really like this song, and they ask me what it's about. Uh, I kind of, I don't know. I genuinely don't get to tell you. Um, so I've been writing songs a long time, and now with the Patreon song group, I'm, I'm writing one song every week. I'm just... We turn in a song every Tuesday, Rain or Shine. And, uh, you know, deadlines are good for artists. And um, and just most of the reason I write songs is to write songs. Most of them are work, and none of them are as good as I want them to be. But once in a while, something happens like this. I was minding my own damn business, driving in a car near Baraboo, Wisconsin, and this song like got beamed into my head like on a radio. Words, chords. I didn't have a guitar in my hand. It didn't matter. I knew like. I, it's more that I had to learn this song, which was already done. It's called Just Before the War. I don't know where it came from. We used to hate that little fucker. We used to beat him up. When he cried, it made us hate him more I mean, Jesus, kids are awful Boys especially, we used to taunt him All the way to his screen door Oh, but all of this Was just before the war The little town would get all lit up On a tall summer night The high school girls, they'd smoke behind the store And if you could get a car You could go out and drive around You could drive down to the lake Sit down by the shore All of this was just before the war Everything changes Isn't that what they say? Oh, you believe it When the world falls away Thank you. 
Walker was brave Turns out I wasn't And you learn what that means Or what it doesn't And now the years go like they go You rake leaves, you shovel snow Probably you're no different than before And the town still gets all lit up On a tall summer night The light shines through my window to my floor And I think about the time before the war I think about the time Damn. Yeah, when you don't, when they come that way, which, you know, I'm going to say when a song comes from your, that deep in your unconscious, you get to really uh, relate to it the way an audience member would, you know, a listener. Um, you know, like it reveals something to you about yourself, I guess. I mean, that's hopefully what I'm doing with this. Uh, I see the Cock and Bull restaurant over in Galway, New York joined. Hi guys. I know you're doing outdoor gigs. Get in touch. Let's let's try an outdoor thing. Also, someone was asking, so yes, this is an ordinary guitar, um, but uh, it's strung up. Uh, it's a Martin guitar. It's strung up Nashville tuning. So like um, what that means is that the bottom four strings are one octave up. So it's like a 12 string without the low string. So and everything shimmery. All right. See, perpetual, perpetual teacher. Um, I guess that means now we go back to the least requested hat. I am going to check in on the Facebook side of things. I see there's like a couple hundred of you. I just am interested to at least See the comments. Good day from Dayton, Ohio. Matt McIver, thank you. That's one of the fun parts of the, um, wow. One of the fun parts of the songwriting group is that we have participants in, in Northern Ireland, Ireland, New Zealand, and uh, Alaska. We've got, so we've got, you know, all these time zones going and all these perspectives going. All right, least requested songs. Da 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 Hadrian's Wall. So I wrote this song on Wednesday. It's Sunday. I wrote this song on Wednesday. And um, what the way the songwriting group works, first of all, Thank you to an audience that's paying enough damn attention. Um, someone on Instagram is saying they can't get on the Facebook live stream. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. Peter Mulvey Music, it's that Facebook page, not the Peter Vincent Mulvey, or maybe it is. I don't know. I, you know, uh, I'm glad you're here. So the way that this thing works is that every Tuesday, or thereabouts, I put out a prompt, which is we're all going to write to this sort of cue, this prompt. And the, the prompt was Hadrian's Wall, um, which is this old Roman wall at the very end of the empire. Uh, I spun a whole story on the Patreon about it, but, you know, the real, what we really know is that the emperor Hadrian began work on this wall in about 400 AD because the empire was stretched and um, and uh, they just couldn't they couldn't handle the people up in Scotland so they just sort of like put a wall across the northern reaches of their empire they're like all right this is ours and the thing that I was hoping to address with this song I've had that prompt now for I would say 12 or 15 years 
And uh, one of the reasons I put it out as a prompt is because I had it had gotten so precious to me because I wanted to like write this magnificent song um, that that said to the Romans and to Donald Trump and to uh, the Israelis and to the Ming Dynasty who built the Great Wall of China uh, that long before any of you were ever dreamed of, long before any of these systems were ever dreamed of. Lao Tzu, the great Taoist originator, you know, two and a half millennia ago, he said, there is no greater misfortune than to prepare to have an enemy. And I thought, I just, I want to write the greatest political song ever, like that's just deeply human and timeless. And this sound, song actually, for me, it wound up just being about an argument I had with a friend and frankly, our friendship ending over one of these endless battles where people talk about, well, you know, he shouldn't have done such and such. And then, the, or, and if he just complied, the police would have. And like, as soon as you're having that talk with someone, I can't go on. So I. Whatever, here it is. It's more personal than I wanted it to be. But those are the rules. He was no angel, you said. And a part of me died. I never had the nerve to ask if you really believed that inside or if I just made you so angry you'd say anything at all none of that matters now now that I've built the wall Far off Northumberland, there is frost on the stones And I used to go there sometimes Just to feel alone To dwell on the centuries And on history's thrall To pretend that I could learn Not to build the wall Maybe we are all one Maybe we are sisters and brothers But he knelt on that man's neck While he cried for his mother And if that's what it takes To keep us all safe Then we were never worth saving Maybe our friendship would have died anyway. We all love to be right. And we don't get to say the castles they crumble, the empires fall, and every one of us just goes on building the wall. Yeah, I was talking to a good friend this morning and, and you know, because we, it, 
if you're watching the trial, God, especially if you're watching the trial and you're and you're a black person, the defense gets to call witnesses over the next week, and it's gonna be that's just gonna be so that's gonna be some traumatic shit. So my partner and I were talking this over, and then, and then she said, "Wait a minute, wasn't this for a counterfeit twenty dollar bill? Like seriously, seriously? Okay, if that's what we we have decided." we're going to do when someone hands a clerk one piece of paper as opposed to another piece of paper let's just get rid of the piece of paper this is all so fucking stupid amen all right um jesus that was fairly heavy uh, so i i did see earlier someone asked what is this so this is uh, it's just an old junk shop guitar that I got uh, in Lambertville, New Jersey, on the on the on the banks of the Delaware River. There's an old junk shop, and this is one of the old Sears and Roebuck plywood spray painted uh, things. It's got a little logo that says the Prep, <laughs> and um, so I, uh, fr uh, again, my my pal um, at uh, in Milwaukee put this. Uh, classical bridge on it and now it's got steel strings on it and because it's so short scale it's tuned up as though with no capo it's tuned as though we're capoed at the third fret so uh you know g c f b flat d g you know so if you capo it really high you get those sounds um okay it's Garrett Burton of Old Country Strings in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Let's see. Um, all right, here we go. Smell the future. <laughs> this is a song about... Uh, This is a song that I wrote in the aftermath of the verdict that said that the police officers who beat the holy living hell out of Rodney King were not guilty. And that it was justified that they beat the holy living hell out of him. Um, this is, of course, a, a, a moral absurdity. Uh, and the citizens of Los Angeles, in particular the black citizens of Los Angeles, um, at seeing the quote justice system uh, perpetrate this moral absurdity they uh, they rose up and burnt shit down I wholeheartedly concur with them I mean you know I'm as nonviolent as the next guy or I hope to be more nonviolent than the next guy but um, god damn it <laughs> Dr. King also called a riot the language of the unheard and you know, luckily I wrote this tune, and then that solved everything, and we don't have to deal with police brutality anymore. Standing with my sneakers, soaking up a lake of gasoline. Standing with my Bob Dylan comic books, bag of Boston babies Standing here I realize I see it now I know just what you mean I smell the future I smell the future I smell the future And it smells like They beat the shit out of him His face was such a sight Lying to us blatantly They handed down not guilty I say that's 
that array Lying on my mother's couch Screaming at the television Watching Pelly burn into the night I smell the future I smell the future Do you smell the future? Well it smells like gasoline And then I made a band version on a record called Rapture in um, 1995. And uh, David Goodrich and I went out on the road driving around my little geo prism. And then, like, we heard this thing come on the radio and we we're like, we we're like, oh my God, our song is playing on pop radio. And then Eagle Eyed Cherry goes, say tonight. Fight the break of dawn, come tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be. And we're like, God damn it. We never get to be millionaires. We didn't get in this to make art and change people's lives. We got in this to be millionaires. This is stupid. Uh, I would just, let's see, to get into teacherly mode for a moment. This is oat milk, chicory, and a little bit of maple syrup. I lost, um, just full on lost, like they disappeared, a couple, three notes in my falsetto a little while back, and that was terrifying. Um, you know, because if you can't sing and you're me, that's that. And so um, uh, I went to the Voice Health Institute in Boston. Um, Dr. Zeitels. And uh, the reason I was able to go there was that my friend Sean Staples, a wonderful singer and songwriter and mandolinist, he'd lost his voice and they helped him get it back and so he arranged a benefit concert and uh, I participated along with maybe 30 Boston people. And uh, Dr. Zeitels said, listen, if you ever want to come see us, we'll see you pro bono. So I went and they helped me get my voice back and um, I'm separating these but I'm not looking I'm gonna stir them up and now I before a show I, I walk around the back of the venue or my house and I go <laughs> I move this thing around which is utterly disgusting try it sometime all right, so this is the least requested. Uh, this is your reminder when all this is done to head over to uh, petermulvey.com if you feel like uh, giving me some money through Venmo or Patreon. That would be great. Also, or Venmo or PayPal. But just sign up on my Patreon, too. You can just chip in for three bucks a month. What you will get is a song prompt and then a song written to that prompt from me. Every Tuesday, you'll get a brand new song. Sometimes it'll be as late as Wednesday. And then lessons on songwriting, and occasionally I read a poem to my dog in a series I call Poetry Hour with Mabel Dog. That's actually the best part of it all. Um, and so, 
Oh, I knew this was going to happen. Well, I'm just going to commit. So this is Forever Nightshade Mary. This is a song by my favorite band in all the world. Um, uh, the Latin Playboys. Uh, which is pretty much the bohemian half of... Uh, Los Lobos. And um, David Hidalgo and Louis Perez, they're my heroes. Like, I just, I love their work so much, and it's been my guiding star, and I've, I've got to open for them a couple, they got to open for Los Lobos. And I've driven hundreds of miles to see the Latin Playboys, who never, you know, they only toured once, ever. that I saw it come up and I was like, God, I got to learn that. And then I didn't. So I don't. I don't know this song at all. Like you just saw me remember how to play the, the bass parts. And so this is it. I'm going to make up the words to Forever Nightshade Mary by... Um, I completely made up half of those words. It's a good lyric. Man, Louis Perez is the lyricist in that outfit, and he's got this crazy, um, like, really blunt pug and then super colloquial, um, like, all this stuff is grounded in colloquy, but then there's this sort of magical realism to it. Man, the Latin Playboys, seriously. That's great stuff, way better than what I just did. I remember we, that's on the Deep Blue record, which we recorded in 97, and it's just me. It's the, it's the finale to the record, and I remember that um, we, uh, for a, a little bit, we were trying to overdub Mike Peel doing finger snaps. I hope you're watching Mike Peel. And so, like, we had him, uh, the, the producer, like, put these two mics up to do the finger snaps in stereo. And so he said, well... Oh. Only a moon beam. And then the producer like goes on the talk button and it's like, hey Mike, can you just just humor me? But can we get a little more in one microphone and then a little more in the other? And so he's going. And he goes, Hey, does it does it sound better this way? And the producer's like, no, I just wanted to see you do that. Mm, God, I miss making records. 
Uh, speaking of that, I've got one out <laughs> called uh, Peter Mulvey with Sister Strings live at the Cafe Carp. You should check it out. All right, here we go. Uh, this is the hat that doesn't make me nervous because it's the most requested songs. So I know these songs. And... Aha! The Trouble with Poets. Thank you to whoever it was that uh, had the prompt any song containing the entirety of Percy Shelley's poem, Osmandias. <laughs> Since they talk too much Poets tell us how it hurts them And it hurts them just a little more We cannot tell Maybe they make that shit up We never stood in those shoes In those skins In those heads On those shores Trouble with you Is you drive me nuts I cannot tell what is left behind your smile For it give us something just to lift us up Just for tonight, for a time For the sake of us all for a while You might take a fall down the stairs And a poet might come along and it might say Well, that's just like life I think the trouble with poets is they'll see Poetry everywhere I know it's only trouble Here I am at the bottom of the stairs Begging you Please, Mr. Poet, don't if you small repairs. <laughs> in my falsetto back. Oh Lord, I push and I struggle. I know, I know it's just the deal. I know it's only trouble. And I know trouble makes us real. And I know sometimes, sometimes, nobody knows. Nobody knows, not even the poets know, not even the poets know how we feel. The trouble with poets is they talk, they talk, they talk too much. They say, let us go, then you and I, as the evening is spread out against the sky like a patient etherized upon a table. They talk too much, they say, something there is that does not love a wall. They talk too much, they say. I met a traveler from an antique land who said two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert near them on the sand half sunk a shattered visage lies whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions red which yet survive stamped upon these lifeless things the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed and on the pedestal these words appear my name is Ozymandias king of kings look upon my works mighty and despair. Nothing beside remains round the decay of that colossal wreck. Boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. They talk too much.
Thank you very much. That was Ozymandias by Percy Shelley at the end there, as well as a little bit of Robert Frost, a little bit of T.S. Eliot. Um, <laughs> it, it occurred to me while I was singing that, that I wonder what Percy Shelley would make of the fact that a dude in a straw hat and a floral shirt, uh, years and years after he drowned, uh, would be going doing like the, the white guy uh, biting his lower lip head bounce while going I met a traveler from an antique land who said two uh, put that in your pipe and smoke it Percy Shelley all right here is the dangerous dangerous least requested I'm probably gonna do uh, what this that I'll probably end with one of these uh, probably do like three maybe four more tunes go to 1220 so uh, one once more, if you would share this, that would be fantastic and say, I've requested such and such song and it's a nail biter to see if it's going to happen because there's only a few songs left. Whatever, that'd be great. Also, you know, uh, I would just get in that habit when you're watching these live streams and I want to thank you for turning in, tuning in as well because this isn't as good as the real thing and we all know it and I appreciate you supporting me through this and i can't wait to get back to the real thing speaking of which when we're done here i'm gonna go get my first shot because uh, as it turns out uh, i'm overweight and that kicked me into the you are eligible according to my physician so i guess i'm gonna go get my first shot please get vaccinated everybody and so where the hell was i going with this Thank you. Please share the live stream. Here's the dangerous bowl. Oh. How did this get? Okay. I'm just going to go with it. This just went in the wrong bowl, but this is from the most requested bowl. All Saints. Very good. I'm happy to sing this tune. I love this tune. I wrote this tune uh, the morning before I went into the studio to record uh, There Is Another World. I was writing songs for that record all the way up to the final minutes. I love it when that happens. You don't have time to play them for an audience. Refine them. You just catch them. Like this tune was two days old when we recorded it for the record. All right. This is called All Saints. Tremble 
line of scrimmage and say that one went in the wrong hat so we're gonna go back to the dangerous hat which is a bowl I know because that would have given it short shrift oh yeah this is one of my very favorite songs that I've ever written and it got all of exactly one goddamn request again I thought you liked that <laughs> This is for whoever requested it. This is one of two songs in my catalog that are about the... Denver International Airport. The song is called DIA, which stands for Denver International Airport. It's uh, the first song on Are You Listening, which was produced by Ani DeFranco. And uh, that last tune, there is another, uh, it's called All Saints. That's where the record There Is Another World gets its title. That was produced by Todd Sikafus, who after he made my record, he was the musical director on um, uh, uh, Hades Town. So he is a Grammy and Tony winning producer but he wasn't when I hired him. Old Gregory, he made us breakfast, and now I'm rolling down to the Souls to starting their day. Greg fixed us eggs. We all drank coffee and talked about all sorts of different stuff. I did some dishes so I could linger, but there's never time enough. I thank you kindly for telling me to take in your boulevard over my heart. It lingers back there in the house with the typewriters and the chickens in the yard. When you write a poem on a typewriter, it is kind of hard not to use parentheses. Get off my ass. Tailgate and Mister broke my spell with your SUV. Hold me, touch me, hold me, touch me, feed me. That's what my phone always says. It needs me. Don't you fall?
Well, I want to thank you all for being here and um, and uh, for supporting me through all of this. And uh, so I'm going to do one last tune here from the most requested hat, and that'll be the finale of this show. Thank you so much. Um, I am doing some live shows in backyards around New England uh, and also upstate New York, New York City, Vermont, and a few, uh, one weekend in Wisconsin this summer. So I will do a little bit of work, but it's got to be low key and easy to cancel if things, if the caseloads get out of hand. I, we got to do this safely. We got to hang on just a little longer. So everybody get vaccinated. Everybody, um, you know, thank you for supporting me and please support everyone who is working to make this a world that's just safe for all of us, for everyone. Uh, you know, I mean, for the love of God, we have to vaccinate every person on this planet. Because otherwise, I mean, even if <laughs> you can't get on board with the ethics of maybe, I don't know, helping people, if you just, if we just want to help ourselves, if we vaccinate the planet, then there won't be the, the virus running wild through our population, mutating and coming back to kill us. So thank you. I, I know I don't have to tell most of you that because you're, you're, you, you're my audience. You would have left a long time ago offended by my generousness or at least my, my sticking up for generousness. <laughs> I think you should be generous, especially with me on PayPal and Venmo and Patreon. I'm fine. Just take care of yourself. Take care of each other's. All right, here we go. Pick a good one. All right. Well, the show ends on this note. I should point out, I was fascinated that this made it to the second most requested song. I did not know that you all felt that way about this song. Shirt got 18 votes, but Tender Blind, Scott, Blind Spot got 17 votes. There's a lesson here, and that is... Trust empirical data. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm going out on this note. I'm going to leave the live stream up for a little longer. Appreciate you. Take care. It's cold, but at least the sun is out. Her breath hangs glowing in the air. She's wearing a frown bothered from her father, her head, coming back from somewhere. All at once, the weight has lifted, forgotten is the weeping all last night. She's standing at the car with the key in her hand, her head tilted a little to the right. It's just your tender blind spot Not the ruination of your soul Long as trees are skying Tears are weeping seas Tears make us whole And you wonder why you're aching Why you should go on You just don't know It's just your tender blind spot from that tender blind spot, you must grow. Somewhere out there in uh, Instagram land, somebody said, we've all had that moment this year. <laughs> Amen. The days are short and gray. It's the hardest time of year. And she must have missed that road sign, one that said, From now on, nothing in your life will be clear. And the whole day is calling, but she is frozen to the ground. There is something in the silence, there is something only waiting to be found.
and a blind spot It is not the ruination of your soul For as long as trees are skying Tears are weeping seas It's the tears that make us whole You wonder why you are aching and Why you should go on, you just don't it is just your tender blind spot From that tender blind spot You must grow Time is frozen, singing out its grace and pain and love. Its grace and pain and love. Its grace and pain and love. Well, thank you very much. I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank my uh, army of, uh, of uh, uh, advisors for getting me to wear this hat. Thank you out on uh, Instagram. I appreciate you. I'm turning you off now. Thank you on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, I'm going to just leave this up and um, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. I'll see you in person soon. We're going to get through this. Appreciate you. And um, yeah. All right. See you later. I'm, I'm going out this door. There's like five doors in this office. I always get confused. See you later. Are you still here? I go go home. The, the movie's over. <laughs>